Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be starting a new series which will be implementing a simple chatbot using PyTorch. The use case is going to be a chatbot for a restaurant which will basically do the simple things like uh, asking for the menu or uh, asking for the payment methods or what are the things that you know greetings and saying goodbye and all those things okay so it's going to be a rule based intent based simple chatbot so this is an intents file all intents underscore js dot json file this is, a JS, this is a json file and as you can see it starts with a curly bracket and ends also with a curly bracket so basically what it does is you have a data field over here so this is a dictionary and this is all the data of the uh, of the chatbot so basically every single, um, so there are six elements and every single element is a dictionary which contains an intent as you can see over here and query and responses. So three keys. So intent is basically as, it, as the name suggests intent, what the user is looking at. So if it is saying hi or how are you or good morning. So this is basically the greeting intent. Okay. So if uh, this is there then the response should be hi there good morning and hell, hey welcome to our restaurant and all those things the second one is booking to see whether let's say if the customer wants to have a table so it, if he wants to book a table so it will say can I book a table is there some if there is there some space free or are you up now all those things are the queries that the user can enter or something like that and the response will be um, yes please come and visit and so on and so forth so what will be the algorithm? Well, basically what we will be doing is we will be taking the query from the user and then try to pass it to the neural network and then basically try to predict what is the intent. So we will do that by make by the first step, which is going to be, we will create the vocabulary after removing the punctuations and doing lemmatizing, which basically means for every query, as you can see over here, we'll take the queries and then we will take all of this. So these are three queries over here. Then these are three more queries over here. Then we also have queries over here. So, so there are six elements and each element has three queries. So which means there are 18 queries in total, six into three, six elements into three queries for each element. Now what we will be doing is we will be removing all the punctuation. So for example, uh, as you can see over here, can you book a table? Okay, so this will basically remove the punctuation here. So for every element, we will be removing the punctuation and then trying to create a vocabulary. So let's go back. So this is the first step that we will be implementing in this video that is creating the vocabulary from uh, after removing the punctuations and lemmatizing. So, so now we'll start with the code and first what we'll do is we'll import JSON because if you remember our intents file was a JSON file. So let's say f.open, we are going to say all intents underscore js dot json okay now the second thing is dt so we are going to say json dot load f okay so basically what this will do is this dt is going to be all our uh, data so this one okay it's going to be all our data till here everything so now what we need to do is we need to get all the words or we need to build a vocabulary. Now you can call vocabulary. I'm going to say words underscore list. I'm going to call the same thing vocabulary. I'm going to say words list and sorted of all the words DT. Now what is all words is something that I have to define and I'll be defining it in a new Python file. So basically you will be getting all the words that are uh, unique words from all the queries as it said in the first line of the algorithm we need to make a vocabulary by taking all the queries and by removing punctuation from all the queries and then further lemmatizing it okay lemmatizing it or in this case we will be stemming it okay so what we are going to do now is i am going to hit control n and create a new file so as you can see i have created a new file and i have saved it as tools.py in the same directory and in here, I need to import regular expressions. Okay. So now if you go back, as you saw, the data was like this. So intent, query and responses. And this was second data or second, yeah, second element intent, query and responses. So the greeting intent was greeting here and the intent was booking here. And there were certain queries and responses. So one, when I say remove punctuations, so the spelling is a bit incorrect, but whatever. So removing punctuations, you have a sentence like this, say, hey, what's your name? So if you remove all the punctuations, you are left with, hey, 
what's your name so the exclamation mark is gone the apostrophe mark is gone and the question mark is gone stemming when i say stemming what it means is that we need to stem each and every word which means what is the word of what what is the uh, stem of what what is the stem of r what is the stem of your what is the stem of working and what is the stem of ours so what are you remains the same working can be further broken down or the stem word is work and ours stem word is our h o u r okay so these are the two things that we'll have to implement we have imported the regular expression now i need to import the stemmer so i'm going to say from nltk dot stem import porter porter stemmer okay so this is going to be the stemmer so we will instantiate that so i'm going to write ps porter porter stemmer and i'm going to uh, give open close brackets okay now one more thing words so this is going to be the list that we will that we will create of all the unique words that exist now we will remove punctuations p u n c t u a t remove punctuations and we will be passing the sentence as the parameter so the way you remove sentences uh, the sorry the way you remove the punctuation is r e dot sub r and in here we are going to have let's strike this and in here what you're going to have is you know an exclude with nothing and then pass the sent so this is going to uh, remove our uh, punctuations now the second thing is we need to have the stemming so i'm going to say word list not words list okay so word list is basically hi how are you so this is your uh, okay this is your word list so this was a sentence from which the exclamation mark and all those uh, punctuations were removed and then all the words were broken in this uh, in a list so this is word list okay so the way you return so what you are going to do you have a word list and you have to return the stem so for that you can say ps dot stem stem of w for w in word list so this is how you do the stemming lastly all words is the function that we needed if you remember back now dt was all the data as i told you so dt was all of this right now the problem is this we don't need everything we need the value of data so for that what we need to do is we need to go over here and say for d in dt of data so data was the whole file oh, sorry dt was the whole file if you remember dt was the whole file and you took the data so this is a dictionary this is the key so once you pass dt dot uh, dt of data you get the list the list of this okay now for every list you know that there are six elements so for every element so let's say for um, let's just call it q in d of query which means so this was the element okay so the, this was the d element till over here now you only want the query part of it that is this part so so you know the value of q will be iterating through hi how are you good morning and uh, can you can i book a table and all of this so you will be basically iterating through all the uh, queries now what you need to do is you can say clean query is nothing but you have to remove the punctuations punctuations okay and you are going to pass in the q after that what you are going to do is you are going to say um word list word list is equals to let's say you have the clean queue that you got after uh, got after removing punctuation now you lower it that is to the lower case and you split it that is now this has become a list split is used to create a list now you are going to have a stemming list so what you will do is you will pass it to the stemming function you will pass this word list to the stemming function list okay and lastly what we are going to do is we are going to have words dot extend so basically what you are going to do so this words list was an empty list here we are trying to have all the unique elements from query after removing the removing the punctuations and stemming so what you are going to extend it as with you are going to extend it with stemming list <clears throat> 
okay and lastly what we will do is we will return the set of words so obviously the words will have some repetitions repetitions but the set will basically remove all the uh, repeated words and we will have only the unique words but we don't want to send a set we want to send a list so we will convert it back to a list so this is our whole code for the tools part now what we need to do is we need to go back to our main code and here we need to import from tools import all words okay now this should run so if i write print words list and if i run it so you can see all the unique words are over here okay so i think uh, uh allow so this is in the sorted order as i had written sorted so available i think it has been you know broken down to avail and morning has been written uh, broken down to morn so i hope you understood in the next video we will be creating the training data and after that i think we'll be training the model and then after that we'll have to do the inferencing let's say if you are able to you know uh do other things like having a front end to this using streamlit or something else so i hope you understood the video and bye